Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, August 10, 2022. If you like support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at the Nasdaq. And as you can see, we have fallen quite hard today. We're down more than 1%. We were down roughly 1.6% at one point. But at the end of the US session, we basically pulled back as we, we technically usually do. We have run into massive resistance here at the 20 EM, at 200 EMA. And um, as that is the case, we may see this pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, which is down here at 12.6. And in uh, or after that, towards the 50 moving average down here at 12.1. Break below the 50, and then we may go and retest the very bottom here. This is probably um the effect of the cpi number that will be released tomorrow will basically show where this market is going if uh, if it's a lower than expected expected then we may see this market rally significantly if it's higher than expected then we will probably see this market drop significantly if you look at this uh, uh if you look at technical indicators we can see that the stochastic um has become bearish the rsi is bearish and the MACD is about to become bearish. It's still bullish, but it's, it's turning around and about to cross the signal line. So we, what we may see going forward is that we'll have the um, MACD moving this direction and we'll have a crossing here, and then we'll have all three indicators being bearish. If we were to uh, rally here, they will most likely find it when we test the 20 simple moving average or the 50 moving average that is moving in this direction. But at this current stage, it looks like we are um, just continuing our downtrend. So we have tested the 200 moving average, the 50, now we tested the 20, 200 um, EMA, and it looks like we are about to just do another massive move to the downside. But it kind of depends on what basically the CPI number is tomorrow. We have had a really nice rally up towards uh, the uh, 200 EMA. Um, so a pullback should be kind of expected at this current stage. So let's look at the S&P 500. Very similar here. We haven't gotten, we did get all the way up towards the, the 200 EMA and basically pull back. So, so we, kind of st stood around here for quite some time. And when we tested the 200 EMA, we just fell apart. Max stochastic is basically bearish, RSI is bearish, and the MACD is about to cross the signal line as well. If we fall from here, we need to take out this candlestick here, which is 4,085. After that is the 200 and the 20 simple moving average down here at 4,000, and then 50, the 50 moving average down here at 3,932. After that, it's basically back to the very lows. So we may see this market, this may well be a, a bear market rally, as we basically saw right here, and that we are basically still in a bear market. If so, then we will most likely go and retest the very bottom again, and we'll have a crossing here of the MACD, and we'll have a period of the next few weeks where the market will basically sell off what we basically saw here and also here. So we have had a rally of roughly 15% from the bottom, which is uh, very common in a bear, mac bear market situation, and but it's to be seen. If we rally above the uh, 200 EMA, then we have the 200 uh, MA right above, and uh, after that to the very highs. If you look at the, the look at the Dow Jones, it is not um, it didn't test the 200 um, 200 EMA um, at all. We didn't really get there. This basically spiked up towards that point and then broke down. Otherwise, we've just been in this range uh, for quite some time. Pull back a little bit toward the bottom here and then rallied at the end of the session. If we fall, then the 200 and the 20 simple moving average down here will make most likely act as um, as support. Then we have the 50 moving average moving this direction that may as well act as support and breaking below these two then we may go back towards the very lows if you look at the macd is still bullish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well so let's look at the european market and they are kind of turning around 
so this is the DAX and the DAX is down at one point to 12% today. 50 moving average right underneath, 20 uh, simple, moving right, simple moving average also here. So it may well be that we'll pull back towards the 50 and then go higher as it looks like we are creating a nice channel there and just at the bottom of this channel is also the 50 moving average. But breaking below the 50 and the 20, that opens the door back towards the bottom of the bullish band or basically the bottom of this. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish still, but it's turning around. Stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish. So momentum is changing the downside, but we had a very similar thing here, very similar thing here. So this may well be just a continuation before going higher. So let's look at the Japanese uh, Nikkei and this has fallen quite a quite a bit today. We are down roughly half a half a percent, but here we have the 200 moving average, the 200 uh, uh, exponential moving average, and also the 50 moving average. Shows quite a lot of uh, support underneath. But this could also be a similar move that we have seen the last few months. We have stayed above here, stabilized. But after a period, we basically break down. Same goes for here. And we may see a very similar move back towards the lows. If uh, other indices start dropping, then it is fairly likely that this will drop as well. Breaking to the upside, then we are most likely looking at the next target here, which is roughly at 90, uh, 29.3K. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the stochastic is very bearish. So RSI is bearish and the stochastic and MACD is also becoming bearish at this point. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX is still falling. It did rally quite a bit today, but in the end of the session, it gave most of those gains back. So still in a, a fairly nice downward channel, which we have basically been for, basically since the beginning of June, we have been going um, slowly to the downside. But this is also something that we've seen before. We saw it right here. And then after that, we basically spiked. We also saw it here, quite a massive uh, sell-off in the in the VIX, and then we rallied. So it may well be this just a continuation, and the next thing that we'll see is a rally back towards these highs. We are fairly overstretched, also on the edge of uh, being oversold. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, uh, and just entering um, the bullish territory and RSI is turning around here from basically oversold conditions. So a rally from here, if CBI number uh, is bad tomorrow, then expect a basically a real massive spike. So let's look at the 10 year. The 10 year is also within a really nice channel here. And we are basically at the top of the channel. So it may well be that we'll fall from here and head towards the 200 uh, moving average or the uh, 200 uh, exponential moving average which is right underneath breaking below that and then this basically falls apart but if we rally from here then we may see something similar to that if you look at the macd it's still bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is bullish as well so momentum is still to the upside it may also be that we'll basically rally above this upper part tomorrow and then head towards the 50 moving average that could also be um, a scenario so, hope you find this helpful. You don't support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button, see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.